Vegan Latinas for Life on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm so excited to have you in my kitchen to make this new smoothie. Um, so here's the story. Long story short. Um, oh, first let me say the date. It's the 6th, 15th of March, 2016, and it's Tuesday. And we went to Mother's Market, and my daughter loves cashew milk, my six-year-old. But the cashew milk we got... Um, it's original and then unsweetened one none of them are sweet and cashews are supposed to be sweet naturally so I don't know but this is like cold press and like the best stuff you can get it's like 10 bucks for uh, what 28 flow ounces so yeah so um, she didn't end up liking the milk the cashew milk so I'm using it in my smoothie and of course can you imagine how delicious and creamy it's gonna be with some bananas so um, I have another one in the fridge, so I'm going to make her one with bananas when she gets home from school. Um, so since I've been eating raw over a month now, I've had time to think about experimenting with real food. So um, I use regular sweeteners. I don't even use agave anymore because you have the dates, you have mangoes to sweeten things like for dressing, the bananas. There's so many things to use that are already available to us. To sweeten everything so no need for anything added other than what's available like bananas and dates and so on so um, here we go I'm gonna go ahead and start the smoothie so first we're gonna put in the cashew milk which is three cups I usually do three cups of water but today I'm getting spoiled and then we have our homemade avocado, uh, organic avocado seed powder that I made for the first time today. Used a nutcracker and I have a previous video for this one. So you can find out exactly how to do it. And um, it's a beautiful color. Look at it. Wow, it's amazing. I like it. So um, I will never be throwing away my avocado seeds, especially the fact that I pay almost what, between one fifty and three dollars for one avocado so I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth and use that avocado seed and it's not hard you don't even have to heat it up all I did was go ahead and because um, the video I saw on Facebook said you put it in a dehydrator for two hours but it cracked easily because it's a delicious organic well grown avocado so uh, if you buy buy the right thing it should be a lot easier for you I think so again this is all new to me um, this is a rookie YouTube channel for vegans um, and curious um, to be vegans so um, you know if you're a veteran at this sorry this is not probably interesting to you but I'm excited and I hope new vegans are excited too to try something like this so do the avocado powder um, it adds extra gut health to your body so why not and then um, with three cups of water um, or the you know liquid of your choice you want to put in at least five to six kale leaves yesterday I used red kale and it turned out really good um, I don't think it was a kale I think it was just a combination of bananas and apple cider vinegar we're not putting apple cider vinegar in this one today because we have the powder for the gut health and it might not taste so good with cashew milk so with that said Let's put it in. So here you go. We've got cashew, I mean, avocado powder, and then we have our five leaves of kale, and then our bananas. So there we go, and then our beautiful raw organic chia seeds that I bought in bulk for the first time. I am getting good at this bulk stuff and this raw stuff. Every day I get a little bit better and it's exciting. So yeah, I saved money getting that in bulk and they're so easy to get at Mother's Market. Um, so check out your local health food stores, the bulk section. I extremely recommend it. Alright, so I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to make my smoothie and I'm going to taste it. I'm going to put the video back on and taste it and let you know what I think. All right, guys. All right, thanks. All right, so I'm back. So we're going to go ahead and add a um, tablespoon of um, chia seeds. So let's do that. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to taste it. Okay, so I just tasted it, and it's delicious. 
Um, the kale, of course, is strong. That's just its natural nature. So, but with the cashew milk and the creaminess of the bananas, it's just perfect. And I'm going to, usually, I, when I put the chia seeds, I'm going to let it sit for like 15, 30 minutes or more. And then I can enjoy it or put it in a smoothie bottle and take it to go. Uh, awesome uh, fast food in the world. The most awesomest fast food in the world. So, here you go. Smoothie on the go. I have plenty in there left. <laughs> So I usually drink about six um, uh, of uh, about, yeah, six or more cups of smoothies a day. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. But of course, I eat a lot of other foods, um, sunflower seeds and, you know, anything, you know, that's whole raw food, um, of course. So um, I do want to remind you to um, put in when you put bananas, the bananas in, make sure they're freckled. I was um, not responsible enough to get enough bananas and wait till they got freckled. So they were almost at a good a point where they were ripe enough, um, the ones I used, but you, you really wanna make sure they're well freckled so that way you don't have all that bloating in your stomach because three bananas in uh, three cups of water or any liquid of your choice, um, twice, that's six bananas or more. I'm ha Sometimes I have 12 bananas a day. So I know people on this uh, lifestyle that have 24 bananas a day. So you got to remember to make sure you, you get lots of bananas at the store and make sure you just bring them home in a big bag and let them ripe and and when and if you're not using them yet, put them in the freezer. Then you can make nice cream with it in your Vitamix or in your Magic Dessert Bullet, bullet whatever you want. So my tip is to make sure you buy plenty of bananas. It's the cheapest, most awesomest fast food you can get. So makes a great snack. You know what I'm talking about. Of course, there's other sweeteners for your smoothie, but bananas are the easiest and quickest, fastest way to do it, most efficient. So and it helps you maintain this lifestyle. Trust me, I've been doing it over a month and the bananas have been the best thing ever. And you don't want to run out of bananas because then you're going to go buy a smoothie and pay like, what, three times the amount it costs you to make it. So be smart. Make sure you get plenty of bananas. All right, guys, that's all I have for you on Vegan Latinas for Life on YouTube and Facebook. And remember, God loves you. I love you. And on my channel, three important things come together. Love for God. Jesus is my Savior. Love for health and the love for all sentient beings. And being vegan is not just what you eat, it's a whole lifestyle. So be a hero, go vegan, like my six-year-old says. And um, and I always mention God on my videos because, of course, um, I wouldn't be on this journey if it wasn't for God leading me to all the health resources that I've found in the last few years. Um, my family's healthy and we're blessed. So you're always going to hear me talk about God. So, um, all right, stay encouraged, stay motivated, stay hydrated. I'll see you guys on the next segment. And remember... In the end, we're all going to be vegan, so might as well get started now. The most awesomest way to live. All right, I wish I would have known sooner, so that's my only re regret, <laughs> as most uh, vegans would tell you. All right, take care, guys. This is Vegan Latinas for Life on YouTube and Facebook. Bye-bye.